HFS, have stuff, we'll travel. Join Rob Tim this Monday night from 9 to 11 at the Bay Cafe in Canton for a special bartender appreciation night. Come down for loads of free stuff, including tickets to see Catherine Whale Thursday the 11th at Bowhakers. This week's HFS Band on the Road will be at Hartford Community College on Thursday from noon to 2. We'll have cool stuff, including passes for free laser tag at UltraZone and tickets to see The Offspring at Michael's 8th Avenue. Stay where you are. We'll be along shortly. HFS. 99.1 HFS on Just Passing Through. I'm Bob Waugh. Sneaker Pimps, our guest tonight. Is it difficult to create this music outside the studio when you are performing live? Um, it's really exciting, actually. It's, it was at first because we were given so short a time to do it. Yeah. So we were like, what, well, what are we going to do? Are we going to recreate the album live or are we going to do something a bit more drastic? And, and so we um, decided to do versions of the songs rather than the exact song itself to keep us sort of motivated and to keep people sort of... Um, understanding that we're very, very live. You know, we, we don't use dats or sequences. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's no loops or, or... Well, there are loops, but they're triggered as live drum sound from um, David, and that triggers a sample. So we do use them. <laughs> so isn't that box? <laughs> David, yeah. behind the glass. <laughs> yeah. And so there's a lot of room for improvisation. Um, I'm going to assume that at least somebody in the band... Is a fan of the Beastie Boys. Uh, do you want to explain the origin? And you knew this question was coming. Uh, the origin of, of the name Sneaker Pimps? Yeah, sure. Um, Liam was watching um, an English music program. The Beastie Boys were on it. And uh, we all kind of like them spiritually, you know, so what they stand for. Um, and uh, they had this friend who couldn't do much musically. And um, they liked to employ their friends on the payroll. And so... They employed him to go and buy them old school top trainers from New York, and um, called him their sneaker pimp. So his basic job was just to get the the shoes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is sneaker pimps and six underground. I'm just passing through at ninety nine one HFS. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you. 99.1 HFS, thanks very much. Sneaker Pimps for being our guest tonight and just passing through. Thank you.